In response to feedback from national and city governments consulted by the World Bank Water and Sanitation Programme in 2010, urban sanitation was identified as a subsector where progress was not being made and the problems were growing out of control due to rapid rates of urban growth. The shit flow diagram, or SFD, emerged a couple of years later as a simple way of visualizing the multiple pathways taken by faecal pollution, whether engineered or not. It was initially applied to a global study of faecal sludge management, the neglected sibling of sewerage, which had been identified as the major missing link in urban sanitation. What had been developed simply as a tool to aid analytical thinking turned out to be a highly effective way of explaining the urban sanitation crisis to non-technical personnel and to engineers schooled in the traditional approach of sewerage. It was aired at the Stockholm International Water Week in 2013, and the idea was soon adopted by many workers in the sector. This presentation looks at how SFDs have helped to move the urban sanitation agenda forward in a number of different sub-Saharan African countries. The SFD was first developed by the Water and Sanitation Programme in Mozambique, and the first one was drawn for the capital city, Maputo. This was an important ingredient in the dialogue between the World Bank Water and Sanitation Programme and the Maputo Municipal Council. This led eventually to the design and implementation of a district scale pilot of faecal sludge management in some of the densest peri-urban neighbourhoods of the city, in collaboration with the NGO Water and Sanitation for the Urban Poor. This in turn led up to the redrafting of Maputo's sanitation bylaws to cover faecal sludge management explicitly for the first time, and to the scaling up of the pilot program into other peri-urban neighbourhoods. At the same time, the Water and Sanitation Program worked with the Municipal Sanitation Department to build capacity and develop a revitalization plan. As information on the success of this work filtered back to the World Bank, its management identified funds to cover a key priority, the reconstruction of the municipal sewage treatment plant, also to include a faecal sludge treatment facility. In parallel, a national SFD was developed, which was critical in raising awareness among government agencies, including the planning ministry. This led eventually to the development of a national integrated sanitation plan with coordinated actions by several key government ministries and agencies. Another key driver of this process was the African SAN conferences, where senior politicians and civil servants informed themselves on approaches to dealing with sanitation. Following on from this, the government requested major funding from the World Bank for an urban sanitation project, which is currently being formulated. About the same time as the process was taking off in Maputo, a major sanitation project was being formulated in Lusaka, Zambia, with funding from the World Bank, the African Development Bank, the European Investment Bank and Germany's International Development Bank, KFW. Using secondary sources and key informant interviews, the World Bank team developed an SFD for Lusaka, which was critical in convincing both the Lusaka Water and Sewerage Company and managers in the World Bank and the African Development Bank of the need to address faecal sludge management to make any significant impact on the sanitation situation in the city. Subsequently, a second SFD, based on a field survey, was prepared under the project in collaboration with the Lusaka Water and Sewerage Company. And despite showing quite different overall numbers, with 50% of faecal waste safely managed as opposed to 75% in the preliminary SFD, the underlying message emphasizing the need to improve faecal sludge management was still the same. The major difference was due to an initial low estimate of the numbers of pit latrines covered and rebuilt when full. From being highly sceptical initially, the Lusaka Water and Sewerage Company has taken on faecal sludge management as an essential complement to its sewerage service and is now planning to organise it across the city in a structured partnership with private sector service providers with financial support from the World Bank and the African Development Bank under the Lusaka Sanitation Project. The development by the NGO Water and Sanitation for the Urban Poor of small scale pit emptying services suitable for pit latrines in peri-urban areas has made a key complementary contribution by showing that it is possible in practice gradually to replace insanitary manual emptying with organized faecal sludge management in these unplanned neighborhoods. In Kampala, Uganda, the SFD came to the city via a project funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which aims to promote the use of SFDs by providing funding and technical assistance. The SFD for Kampala was prepared by the Swiss Federal Water Resources Institute and Uganda's Makerere University 
in close collaboration with the municipal authority known as the KCCA, the National Water and Sewerage Corporation, and the NGO Water for People, which had been developing small-scale pit emptying services for unplanned neighbourhoods. The involvement of these partners and the dialogue this generated between them and the SFD team led to a decision by the KCCA to tackle sanitation on a citywide basis. The KCCA mobilised resources internally and from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to undertake a complete household sanitation census of the city, including information needed for the SFD, using its own in-house staff and community level voluntary health workers. The KCCA adapted the SFD to the specific conditions of Kampala and are now using it as the basis for monitoring the citywide sanitation programme and assessing the effectiveness of the different interventions they are making. Ownership of the whole process has passed to the KCCA and their vigorous and large scale mobilisation reaches across the departmental boundaries that can so easily frustrate efforts to improve sanitation. Two SFDs for Accra, Ghana, for the years 2000 and 2010 were developed by the International Water Management Institute and presented at a learning event for public health engineers and environmental health staff on World Toilet Day 2015. They showed a deteriorating situation with safely managed faecal waste decreasing from 21% in 2000 to 7% in 2010, due partly to population growth and partly to the progressive failure of the sewage and faecal sludge treatment facilities. By 2015, there was a major sanitation project for Accra already in progress, which had funded the learning event in the first place. However, the strong impact of the SFDs led the Ghana Institute of Engineers to recognize public health engineers, which it had previously regarded as not sufficiently technical, and to divide its combined water and sanitation section into separate units. Beyond the engineering profession, the SFDs and the discussion they triggered spilled into the mass media and generated significant political traction, including calls for the formation of a national sanitation authority, ministerial level contacts between the ministries responsible for water and sanitation and for local government, investment in faecal sludge treatment plants, and proposals to fund subsidies for improved on-site sanitation facilities. The SFDs were applied in various situations with different, but in all cases, positive outcomes. However, some common learnings can be drawn out. In all cases, the SFD was introduced by interested and motivated sector professionals, but very quickly gained traction with its simple, powerful and easily comprehensible message. The greater the involvement of the local institutions, the more effective the SFD was. It is, after all, a tool to inform a dialogue with these institutions in order to mobilise them. An initial SFD, based on a desk study with key informant interviews, need not be difficult or expensive to produce and can usually highlight the important issues. A more accurate SFD can be prepared later with detailed data which can also be used for planning and monitoring interventions. International NGOs are well placed to take the risks involved in developing practical approaches to the problems identified by the SFD, especially regarding non sewage sanitation, where there is as yet limited experience and solutions usually need to be adapted to the specific local situation. Such solutions can then be scaled up by government, possibly with the support of international funding agencies. SFDs have proven valuable in motivating and informing funding agencies, as well as the national and local government institutions responsible for sanitation. They can also help decision makers to find an appropriate balance between sewered and non sewered sanitation. I hope this brief overview has given you an idea of how the SFD can help professionals and decision makers apply the systems approach to sanitation, which it embodies. It can be a useful starting point for the wide ranging and inclusive dialogue that can lead to solving the perennial and growing problems of urban sanitation.